you guys already know I'm so bullish on this token, but like I'll never sit here and say that Pepe is going to reach a dollar. It's just not going to happen. Um, I think Pepe can still delete another zero. It could probably delete maybe two zeros. Um, I don't think that it's going to delete these zeros. Maybe it does. Would be absolutely huge, um, but I don't know the actual math to confirm that. I just think that these sort of pumps that we're experiencing right now are not going to be. They're not going to. They're not going to last. They're not going to last at all. There's going to be some big corrections again. Um, we obviously saw a big correction here. Um, the, the 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 real question we got to ask with PayPay now is where where do we think the floor price is going to be? Um, do we think that these prices will ever be available again with five zeros, 14, 15? I don't know if the this could be like a thing of the past in terms of floor price. I think that it's very possible that we could have moved from this way down here being the floor price. Let's go back and see like because like right around here we added another zero six zeros to the name. This seemed to be the floor around here. Um, even here was like a little bit lower than that. Uh, this seemed to like sort of be like a new floor area. Um, I could be wrong. I could be right. This is all speculation. But with the price going up the way it did, uh, our new floor price could be like around here maybe or here. When I look at these little, these little resting points almost, it almost feels like these could be potential like little floor prices. Who knows though? What do you guys think about that? Um, I think that maybe we could see here is like the new floor price. Um, it really depends. There's a bunch of different things that need to happen. The stars need to be aligned in certain ways for this sort of thing to happen. Um, I am sort of banking on the whole having thing, which is going to, I'm hoping that it's going to create a lot of positive price action for cryptocurrency just across the board. Um, Cross my fingers. I'm um, crossing my fingers for you, though. Yeah, I hope so. I'm crossing my fingers and my da my damn toes. <laughs> um, so yeah, Biot Coin says it's merging with Bonk. Okay, I'll, let me let's uh, Biot Coin. Did I spell that right? Yeah, I did. It's not on here. Possibly on Dex Tools. Because I think that it's important to check all these things out. Um, what meme coin do you think will be top, like, number one? Um, I can, like, top three right now is, for me is going to be Dogecoin, uh, Pepe, and I, I want to say Bonk. I want to, I'm not too sure about Shiba Inu, but I feel like Bonk is a little bit more fresh even though it had, like, a year of being dormant. But, like, Shiba Inu's been around for a while, and I think that yeah, I don't know. It's it's really a battle between Sheeb and Bonk, I think, for me, for top three. But Pepe and Doge are going to be on there for sure. Um, so this sort of thing you said is on Twitter. Oh, there's nothing on here. Let's check out Fiat Coin. Let's see. This is, this is what you are saying is merging with... Um, oh, yeah. It has like very... Yeah, it looks exactly like the same branding and everything. Oh, my throat. My throat dry. Okay, so this is buy it coin. I'm not being paid or anything to like talk about this, guys. Don't worry. Um, look at these dogs. These cute ass dogs. I, you guys know I'm I'm a very much an animal person outside of my cryptocurrency channel and stuff like that. Um, yeah, my top 100. It's got to be at least for me top three. It's got to be Doge. It's got to be Pepe. It's got to be maybe Bonk. Bonk or Sheeb, I think it's, I'm, I'm leaning a little bit more on Bonk, to be honest. Um, I'm still trying to keep my hype up for, for Shiba Inu. Um, yeah, let's, let's actually, let's actually talk about that. I said I was going to talk about that. Shiba Inu, um, is actually starting to move now, which is good, because it hasn't been doing much. Hasn't been doing much at all for the past, this is a year. Yeah, it's been looking kind of sad. There's been some little little pumps here and there, but we've mostly been staying underneath um, this level. But we're emerging from the depths. This dog is coming, and he hungry. But here's the thing, though, guys. I don't know if, if Shiba Inu is going to, like, 100x or 10x or anything like that. I don't think so. It's possible, but I don't... I don't I don't have too much faith in it. And obviously, guys, not financial advice. Please do your own research with this stuff. Meme coins can 
yes, meme coins can make you a lot of money, but they can also drain your money. And I've had my money drained with it before. I've learned some hard lessons. That's um, that's the reality of it. I don't know if, if Shiba Inu is going to do this again. Me personally, like Dog with Hat, they're in the top 100. Oh, are they actually? See, that's weird. That's that's weird. Dog with Hat seems like it's it's like the live action version of Doge. It's like the actual dog, right? It's not just a cartoon. Um, all these dog tokens, man. I'm telling you, I the dogs win every time. Um, w would a cat token work? I know I did a, a video on my channel about um, about like which mascot I think will be on the next big meme coin. Um, I looked at a few of them. I was sort of iffy on cats. There's something about cats that I know some people are like iffy on cats for some reason. Like I, I've got a couple of cats here. Um, they're great pets, but he, the reality of the situation is that I don't think cats have the same sort of viral energy that dogs possess. Everyone loves dogs. Most people love dogs. I hear some people, it's kind of a weird thing, but I hear some people be like, oh yeah, I love dogs, but I just can't stand cats. And it's like, they're all animals, man. Just just pet them. They're soft. They're, they're cute. Um, but yeah, cats are objectively more cute than dogs, but that's not even the whole point, though. They Dogs just have more of a relatable nature, I think. And as a result of that, these dog tokens are just going nuts. Um, there is another... It is a cat with hat. <laughs> I want to see cat with hat. If Is that an actual thing? I'll check it out if it is. I want to see another meme coin do what Shiba did. Yeah, I'm always hunting for it, man. Because, like, I see some of these tokens and it's like, you know, I'm trying to, like, wrap my head around what happens with the tokens when they pump. Like, why are these things happening? Um, one of the big tokens that I talked about much before was Ron. And Ron was absolutely massive over the past month. We have done so much price action with Ron. Uh, we go back to, like, a year a uh, year average and looking at you know like the the end of October it was such a magical time for crypto. Uh we were sitting at 44 cents, 44 45 cents with Ron and we're just tipping $3 now. This is huge and like I I tried talking about this but like I try to lean on things that on the channel get more views obviously. I put a lot of work into like the videos and all the animations and stuff so I want my videos to get the most views as possible, right? So, like, Ronan wasn't doing too good in my search um, sort of queries and for keyword generation. Um, my stuff usually works better with other meme coins. Ronan's not really a meme coin, but this coin did really well. Um, it's really frogs and dogs right now, but only one frog meme coin in the top 100. Yep, um, it is frogs and dogs, man. It's crazy. Frogs have very similar dog energy. Um, and didn't Shiba do a 1 million X or something? I'm tripping. I think Shiba, um, I, I don't know the actual math on it, but Shiba, like, that was huge. Millionaires were made overnight with Shiba Inu. And that's like a, a beautiful thing. We we're all in this, t in this whole ecosystem here to make some money and to have fun, right? If you're not, if you're not having fun, please get out. <laughs> I say that with, Lots of love because you don't want to waste time doing things that, you know, stress you out. Um, and there's a lot of people, and I've stressed it a little bit too in crypto, right? I This can be a stressful environment. Um, I try to have a little bit more fun. That's why I mostly focus on meme coins. I'll always talk about Bitcoin too because, like, I, I have Bitcoin and it was the first crypto that I had actually purchased. Um, but, you know, the meme coins are, you know, there's lots of fun to be had with them. Um, yeah, just, I love all the meme coins and I think the meme coins have lots of potential to like 10 X or 100 X. I think these things are more likely to happen with some of the other like random meme coins because they have that quirky sort of energy and they pick up that sort of viral vibe that other sort of things would like say on, for example, on Facebook, um, when we saw like a resurgence of like, like different types of memes that you would see. And it's, it's trying to capture, like, what makes that so marketable? And then you apply it to crypto. It's the same thing. It's just a brand, but it's marketed in a, a similar sort of way. There's some differences to it. But I think that cryptocurrency in general, um, because you have money involved with it, you can see more virility happen with these tokens because it's not just a, a cute dog anymore. It's a cute dog that, you know, is making people money. So everyone's going to flock to these meme coins, um, like, like bigly, I'm going to say bigly. <laughs> 
I'm making it my mission to be a millionaire. This bull run with meme coins and all coins. I <laughs> I would love to be a millionaire, but like I I don't strive for it. Um, I don't know if it's possible for me. Like maybe one day. I would love to be a millionaire. I hope that you guys watching, like I hope some people out there have made some life-changing gains uh, because the, this market is like recently and like going back to Pepe, we, we did a triple, we did a times three and the token was, you know, it was sitting at five zeros 10 and I mostly do Pepe videos, Pepe style videos. Um, we're making lots of money. If you've been holding Pepe for since a couple of months ago, you're in the green right now. And I'm very happy for you. 100% happy for you. Um, I don't want to tell you guys how much I've invested in this sort of thing. I try not to. Um, I'll tell you guys what I'm invested in, but like I giving like random numbers and stuff like that. Yeah, but I, you know, we're, we're taking some profits. Take healthy profits along the way, please. Uh, I never say never have hope. I am having hope, but here's the thing. I'm... I'm just going to I'm going to try to speak from the heart. I'm genuinely a happy person and having like a ton of money wouldn't make me happier at my core. I'm very content with my life right now and getting a million dollars would be it would be a bonus on top of that, but I've worked on myself hard. I go to the gym every often or every so often. I eat well. I've got a family here. I'm super happy. And, you know, like a million dollars would definitely change my life. But like, I am so content that if the million dollars does come, then it's just extra. It's just a bonus for me. I know for some people getting that million dollars would be like super life changing and they would, they would probably fall to the ground and cry and stuff like that. But honestly, I feel rich in my heart with my family and where I'm at right now. And I hope you guys all are too. Genuinely, I really do feel that way. Um, I understand that crypto is a very anonymous and sort of, it can be sort of cutthroat, but I genuinely hope all my viewers are making some lifetime or life-changing gains. Um, I know lots of people are making some life-changing gains with Pepe right now. Uh, and like I said, uh, Pepe is not done. Pepe is not done. I think that it's possible we could delete another zero. Um, I think that the price is going to continue to go up eventually. We could be sitting at a new floor price. Uh, like right around here, maybe it's possible, but bro, is Pepe going to pump again? Of course, I think it's going to pump again. Not financial advice, obviously, please do your own research, but Pepe is not done yet. It is not done pumping yet. It is going to pump again. Um, I think it's just a matter of when, um, when we look at the halving, for example, and this is one of the things, again, this is just me talking and speculation. We have 51 days roughly for this halving to, to happen. And that's when the mining rewards for Bitcoin are going to be cut in half again. That's why it's called a halving. And we have 51 days left. I think that in the last 30 days, the coin is going to start pumping again. Um, it, it might even start pumping beforehand. Who knows? It's currently pumping right now. We're like, we're in a bull market right now, but I, it almost feels kind of early, but maybe that's due to the ETFs. And like Crypto Noobs News said earlier, uh, Dr. D, he was saying that, you know, there's, I think he said $250 million uh, worth of USD is getting pumped into these ETFs on average a day. So we're seeing a lot of massive positive price action. We're seeing the price go up. That's going to trickle into pay Bitcoin, I think. Um, these sort of things affect everything else under the sun, right? Pay Bitcoin is just another type of Bitcoin. Whenever I talk to like, <laughs> like, I don't want to be disrespectful, but like older people, like my parents, for example, and other people's parents, I, I am that crypto guy in the friend group. None of my friends are super invested in crypto. Um, some of them are kind of like, they don't like it when I talk about it. So that's why I have this channel. I get to talk about crypto and stuff. But I talk to boomers about it the same way that I would with video games. Um, I would say like, oh, if I'm playing my PlayStation, for example, I got a PS5. My mom's like, oh, like, what are you doing these days? I still tell her that I'm playing on the Nintendo. Um, that's just what, <laughs> that's just what it is, right? So when I'm talking to my parents about cryptocurrency, um, I just sort of level it out and say like, oh yeah, like I'm, I'm talking about Bitcoin. When I'm talking about PayPay, my mom's like, what's PayPay? And I'm just like, oh, it's just another type of Bitcoin. Cause I mean, like, I don't know how else to explain it to somebody that has no investment in this. That's why I just say like, you know, Hey, the, it's a type of Bitcoin. That's the easiest way I could, I could explain it to people. Um, but like I said, though, with Bitcoin being 
what it is. And with Pepe being quote unquote, the another Bitcoin, it's still a cryptocurrency. It still has the ability to pump huge. Um, it's going to again, I think that it's going to pump in the next couple of months. Uh, we could see that pump happen. <laughs> Literally, it could, it could happen now, man. But I think it's still got a little bit of time. I think that right now, it's probably going to maybe level out even correct a little bit. It's possible that we could tip like 5025. Um, I'm not really too sure if it's going to go much lower than that. It's still possible. But I think right now, it's going to maybe bleed out a little bit more. I think people are still going to probably like take some profits along the way, that sort of thing. I seen on Twitter that Coinbase won't be listing PayPay because something evil. Oh, I heard about that. I heard about PayPay with um, not being listed on, on Binance, or sorry, not Binance, Coinbase. Um, I don't know what the beef is with that. Uh, personally, I, I, there is issue with the devs, right? I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pussyfoot around it. There's, there is some like stuff that happens behind closed doors with Pepe. Um, I can't obviously confirm these sort of things. This is all just like hearsay. Well, some of it's hearsay, but like there, the devs in Pepe, um, they took money from the community treasury. Now I, I still love this token, right? I still, you know, have a lot of faith in this token, I don't agree with what the devs did. Um, I think that there's, they could have went about things a little bit differently. And I think that if they were better devs, the price would be a lot higher than what it is now. That might be a hot take. I don't care. I think that if the devs were better at being devs, then we would see bigger, we would see bigger pumps and we would probably see even bigger like floors. It's very possible. I think that if the devs were really good and they didn't take them that treasury, we could be we could be in the four zeros territory. Just saying. Um, but like that's like my small gripe with the devs. I don't really know them personally, so I can't say too much else. But I can say that like you know, for, in terms of being community leaders, I don't really. There's nothing really there for it for them, and that's just my sort of uh, that's just my sort of thing. Uh, how much do I hold in Pepe? Uh, a lot, I'm just going to say. <laughs> if Coinbase did it, then uh, it would hit $3 billion, etc. Uh, yes, the devs are weird, They um, and they took $1 million too, and etc. Yeah, that's just it, right? Like, it's supposed to... This is supposed to be decentralized finance. When people like that take from the community treasury, that is taking away from the values of decentralized finance. Um, you are essentially acting like an overlord and you have this massive amount of power and you should be using it for good. You shouldn't be taking this money from the community because again, this is all of us. We all control this. We all own this. That's the beautiful thing about cryptocurrency. We don't have an institution. We don't have a garbage Federal Reserve that is controlling our money, our Federal Reserve shit that happens right now, it's disgusting. Are, are you, you, these guys can just print money and then send it overseas and, and do all sorts of dumb shit with it. I hate that. It's, it's despicable. It's deplorable. But we, we have cryptocurrency and this is our money. This is the people's money. And I don't believe that... You know, I, I don't believe that people should be doing things like stealing from community treasuries. That shit, leave that shit for for traditional fiat fucking stuff. Don't don't bring that shit into crypto. We need to be a little bit better than that. So <clears throat> that's my sort of thing with with Pepe. That's my sort of thing with crypto in general. Um, just a moment, sort of a bit of gumbo. I gotta catch up with chat right now, definitely. And uh, what do you think about Pepe Fork? Uh, I see on Twitter that they're beefing. So Pepe Fork, I've chatted about Pepe Fork before. Um, I think Pepe Fork is doing a little bit better. It it plummeted earlier, but it's making a bit of a recovery. Yeah, yeah. So here's that recovery that's happening. Um, so I there is a feud online on Twitter um, between Pepe Coin holders and Pepe Fork holders. I don't care about that shit. I'm here to make money. I'm not here to sit here and defend a, a fucking frog themed token. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not going to get in arguments like shit like that. Um, I think it's funny seeing how some of these people so zealously defend this shit. It's so ridiculous. Like, like guys, like, okay, if you, and I've said this before, 
If you think that you're in the right and if you feel powerful arguing online with it, go ahead and I know I'm talking to mostly dudes here. Crypto is mostly dudes. Go ahead and tell your girlfriend that you uh, you went on Twitter today and you argued with someone about a frog themed token and the coding is very similar. There's almost no difference to it. The only difference is that one's pink and one's green. Tell her that. Tell her you did that. She will fucking leave you forever and she will tell all her friends how stupid you are so that's why i say i don't contribute to this sort of beef i like to watch it i like to report on it because i think it's funny but like i don't think pepe fork is better than pepe i don't think pepe is better than pepe fork i don't care about that shit what i care about is if these things are gonna go burr is the price gonna go up maybe probably it did when this coin launched so like yeah there's money to be made i did buy some pepe fork when it came out uh, not financial advice, obviously. You do, do your own research. But I bought some Pay Bay Fork when it came out, and I made a little bit of money. I didn't put too much into Pay Bay Fork. I spent, I'm just going to say, under $100. Under 100 uh, USD. I didn't put that much money into it. I just wanted a, a little, just a taste of the action. Uh, and I made a little bit of money from it, and I sold. And that's pretty much it. I have a tiny bit of Pay Bay Fork that I'm holding now. Because I think that it's possible that this coin could go up. Again. Because that's what the beauty of crypto. There's no reason for these people to be fighting over this shit. It's so dumb. It's so immature. It's just like, stop. Stop this madness. It's, <laughs> we're all here for the same reason. We're all here to watch your money go burr. And that's it. I want to hang out with the people that want to make money too. I want to like check out and find these new coins and discover how how massively these coins can pump. I don't want to be sitting here and arguing about frogs. This is so fucking ass backwards i think both tokens can work in unison even one being a fork than the other i think that pay Bay fork could pump as well um i've said this before but like Polly is a very aggressive person when it comes to marketing his stuff uh he has a lot of power in the crypto community whether you like him or not um i know he's very he's very abrasive to some people he's very bold and he's very loud with his opinion and all that stuff and his Twitter is chaotic. I'm not going to lie about that. Um, but we got to respect the fact that he does have a lot of power. He is an influencer. He is somebody that he does build on stuff. And he built a couple of tokens, this one and then Pondcoin being the other. I don't hold Pondcoin. I sort of stayed away from it. Um, but like, just because I don't hold Pondcoin, uh, it doesn't mean that I have a beef with, with Polly at all. I think that... <laughs> He says a lot of dumb stuff online, but like, so don't we all, we all say a bunch of like dumb stuff online. I, I think that, I think that Paulie's a good dude, you know, deep down. I've never met him before, but I'm pretty sure he's, he, he's, he seems genuinely like a nice dude. I, it would be cool to meet him and sort of like interview him, to be honest, ask him some questions about his experience with crypto and whatnot. Um, but with Pay Bay Fork, uh, you know, I, I do think that there's some potential for this token to go up. It's just a matter of when, and it's just a matter of how he's going to aggressively market it to go up again. Um, he has been doing airdrops for people, and he's been giving away lots of money. So, like, you know, like I said, he, he is an abrasive dude, but he is doing a lot of stuff in crypto. He does have a lot of power in crypto. He is an influencer, and that's just the truth. Whether we like him or not, that is just the truth. Um and I think when the price of pork was going down and the price of pay Bitcoin was going up, uh, I think Polly made a post how he was just, it kind of felt like he had his tail between his legs a little bit because, you know, when, when pay before it came out, he said that he was selling all of his pay Bitcoin. He said he was 100% done with it. Um, and that's what he said. And he sold when he made that post. Let's see when the okay. So pay Bay fork was released. Hang on, let's go back. Let's go back for a second because this is really funny. This is hilarious to me. Okay, so January thirtieth is when pay Bay fork came out. So he announced that he sold, and it was probably we can assume maybe he sold around January thirtieth. I I don't know, maybe possible. January thirtieth, if he sold his pay Bay coin, he sold it probably at a loss. Maybe. I don't know. I cannot confirm nor deny that. But he sold when the price of PayPal was really low. So he's probably kicking himself when he's seeing the price like this go up. That tweet that he made, it seemed like he was trying really hard to 
be humble about it. And I know that he wants Pepe Fork to possibly be better than Pepe Coin. I don't think that's possible. I'm sorry, but even though the devs have done shady stuff with Pepe Coin, I don't think it's possible for Pepe Fork to be the better alternative in the in the in the whole grand scheme of things. Again, not contributing to the war because I think both tokens are fine. I, I don't have any beef with any of these tokens. I just think that realistically Pepe is the number one. That's just, that's my opinion. Um, Pepe Fork is trying to build on it and do it a little bit better and stuff. And I appreciate that for sure, but that doesn't mean it's going to be better than Pepe. I might appreciate the values that you bring to the table more, but at the end of the day, like I said, is the money going to go burr on Pepe Fork or is the money going to go burr on Pepe Coin? My money's on Pepe Coin. Uh, I have significantly more Pepe Coin than I do Pepe Fork. And I believe in Pepe Coin significantly more than Pepe Fork. Um, but I still have faith in Pepe Fork. Just for the record, if you want to know my stance on it, um, I like him. Uh, he just needs to make another meme coin so I can get in. He really is a comedian. He, he's crazy because, like, he says, like, his Twitter is so chaotic. Um, I think when I was, like, just looking on Twitter and just seeing sort of... Uh, what he was or what was to talk about today um he'll always just like post random stuff he'll just like whenever the price of pepe fork goes down he'll just post like a picture of him saying like lol lamau and then crypto i i don't know about the crypto 2.0 stuff i <laughs> it's just it's just buzzwords it's just marketing i don't again it's not a beef i don't care I just think the crypto 2.0 is just a buzzword. It's just buzzworthy. It's just marketing. These are all marketing tactics that people use to get people to join in on these communities and to feel part of something. Polly's doing a good job of it. I, he's not perfect, but like he's doing a good job. But I don't, the crypto 2.0 is just marketing, guys. Please. <laughs> this is all cryptocurrency. He is just doing crypto like everyone else. He's doing a pretty decent job at it, but crypto 2.0, like it's just marketing, guys. It's just marketing. So, yeah, he he posted something. I think it's way down because he posts a lot. Like, he'll post multiple times an hour. I, he must have a marketing team that takes care of his posts. I don't know, maybe. But, yeah, he'll... Yeah, he. there's just a lot. There's a lot to go off on about Polly. Um, but again, I don't have like an absolute, like an actual beef with him or anything. Um, what do you think about Myro? It was doing good and then it went down like crazy. Let's check out Myro because I did a video on Myro uh, a couple weeks ago, but I haven't really revisited Myro since then. Uh, we are up 20 or 10% in the last 24 hours, but that is not looking too, too good. I'm maybe we go down more let's okay let's see here um yeah we're just kind of like feels like an ocean in here we when did that price um the bull run start it was a few days ago so the price has been going up but like let's look at an all-time average here when when did this coin actually come out i can't remember there's so many tokens to keep tabs on here um we we had that pump so so Myro came out after the um, October 30th when everything started to pump. So like if Myro came out beforehand, this would be, I feel like this token would be huge. It's another type of dog, but it's like a smaller dog, right? Um, so what's going on with Myro right now? It's, yeah, this is, it's it's kind of weird. It, it went down in price, obviously. And it's kind of, it looks like it's sort of just bouncing between uh, like five cents and nine cents. Yeah, f between five and nine. <laughs> Myro's doing a nine to five right now, it looks like. Um, could this be the, the the high that we see for a little bit? This could be one of those tokens that just kind of lays dormant for a while. Like I said, remember um, with Bonk, when Bonk first came out, and we'll look at the all-time high or the all-time view of Bonk. Bonk had that sort of like little small pump that happened and then it kind of just leveled in and, and went up and down, but didn't really do too much. Uh, it's possible that Myro could do this. It's 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 possible. Um, I mean, like, look at Bonk. There was nothing to Bonk. There was that, that year where there was just nothing happening. And then, of course, the, the end of this year, things pumped again. <laughs> what about Oct late October of 2025? We could see Myro pump again. Um, it really depends. I don't really know if Myro's going to do too much. I think that my, if I'm a betting man, and of course not financial advice, but I do think that Myro will probably remain dormant for a little bit. 
Myra was doing good with Dog with Hat, and then it went left, and now it's only Dog with Hat. Um, let's check out Dog with Hat really quick, because this token is a little bit baffling. So it's 108 right now, in terms of uh, crypto. Dog with Hat. Oh, nice. Look at that. I like seeing that. Oh, that's really good. So this coin came out... This coin came out a little around Christmas time, and the price has gone up pretty well. So Dog with Hat's got a lot of potential. The, the dog, consider Dog with Hat the the live action Dogecoin because it's not a cartoon; it's the actual picture. So that's a little bit unique. That's unique. And when looking at the meme coins, it's all about the marketing. These coins don't have too much utility a lot of the time. You got to look at the marketing and the branding and the branding is cute. It's simple. It's quirky. It has that energy to possibly go up in price even more than where it's at right now. I think that dog with hat could definitely like go up to like past a dollar right now. Um, not financial advice, obviously, but I think it's definitely possible. It's crazy looking at dog with hat though. It, it's just, it, it almost seems like doing a token about a dog is going to guarantee some pumps. Whether they're life changing or not for people, it just looks like dog, like any sort of dog themed token is going to likely pump. It's, it's kind of crazy like that. Um, dog with hat came out on the first with decks with, uh, with three zeros on the price. Oh, so it's like, if we look at a, we'll have to look at dex tools then. Um, yeah, because coin market cap is not showing me the, the whole picture, uh, dog with hat. And this is on soul. So it's been around for a long time, longer than that. Get it ready. Yeah. Get ready. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. So this has been out for a while. Since November. Oh, look at that. I didn't know the I didn't know the early days of Do or Dog with Hat. This is this is the Dog with Hat origin story right here. Oh, so it's it, wow, so it's been one tenth of a cent. And then oh yeah, that is huge. Damn. That is huge. I didn't I didn't even I didn't even bother looking at the decks. I, damn, that's huge. All right. Dog with Hat making some millionaires up in this. Wow. So we're at 75 cents right now, Dog with Hat. That's interesting. Um, so what's Dog with Hat going to do? It's going to hit a dollar. Oh, well, I think it's going to hit a buck. It's good. There's going to be some resistance when we hit that buck, though. I'll tell you that right now. There's going to be some resistance. Um this coin has pumped so much that there's going to be some big sell-offs, I think, when a dollar hits. Uh, you know, not financial advice, but I just think that it's very possible for that sort of thing to happen. Maybe hit a dollar, but there's going to be some resistance. So brace. Brace for yourself. Pray next to your MetaMask accounts. <laughs> um, yeah, should, should have got in at three zeros. That's what I mean. I, w I wish that I knew about this, this token before. I'm always trying to, like, check out all these tokens, though, and, like, I'm hoping that I'm able to provide some good value other than being entertaining and stuff like that. And hopefully, like, f capture some of these gems and, and talk about them before these sort of things happen. It's so hard to, but man, I'm trying. Um, I So I do actually do marketing and uh, social media for, like, my day job. And I also do video editing for my day job. So, like, I'm always fucking on this computer, man. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm always keeping my ear to the floor with this stuff to try to find this. I just wish I found this earlier. That would have been huge. Um, what tokens do we think are going to do this next? Uh, so this massive like 10x, it might have been like a, yeah, if it's like four zeros. Yeah, that's huge, huge profit. If you're holding, anyone here holding dog with hat that bought around the early days, <laughs> that's why i need crypto pals yeah I'm, I'm feeling you man that's why i love coming down to these lives i've never done lives before but i sort of wanted to just like actually like chat with people and stuff like that talk about crypto uh talk about like my sort of thing again i'm not a i'm not a genius 
I'm still learning about crypto. I'm not like the smartest dude. I'm not going to ever tell you guys that. I'm not, that's not the type of dude I am. I'm still learning. I have some like, I have mediocre levels of knowledge. I'm thirsty for more knowledge and doing these videos helps me learn more. Talking with you guys and making new friends and stuff like that helps me learn more about the token. And even you just showing me. Uh, Ike uh, Highness, I'm going to call you Highness. Um, even you just showing me that. I didn't know that. I, I I was only looking at coin market cap. I usually do hit up the decks a lot of the time before, but um, I tend to just like in terms of doing my videos, coin market cap uh, is it's better looking than than Dex tools in my opinion. It's cleaner looking to uh, maybe potential newbies on stuff like that. But you showed me something today, and like that's the beautiful thing about crypto and like making new friends in this community is that. You know, you, you definitely learn from each other and stuff like that. So, yeah, not, I'm not a crypto genius by far, but you better believe I'm passionate about it. You better believe I'm wanting to learn more about it. Um, it's a huge industry. This industry is growing every single day. The BlackRock uh, Bitcoin ETFs are drawing in millions of dollars per day. People want to get on board with cryptocurrency. Um, I want to work in cryptocurrency, to be honest. I don't work in crypto right now other than my channel, um, making my videos for you guys. But I would love to like actually work in crypto because this is a huge industry and it's exploding. It's it's going to be big. When when this Bitcoin halving comes in, there's going to be more people in like the mainstream uh, sort of area that are going to be looking at cryptocurrency as a, a, a valuable asset. They're going to see that this Bitcoin halving has happened and there's going to be a pump that happens and people are going to feel FOMO again. That's the thing about about um, about this Bitcoin thing is that people realize that this the, the price of Bitcoin will go up and down. And a lot of people in the beginning, this is an all time. Yeah, this is an all time of Bitcoin oh, when Bitcoin was was mere hundred dollars. I wish I wish. <laughs> um, I grabbed Bitcoin. My first purchase was in 2017, so I'm very happy with where I'm at. But when these massive pumps, when this first pump happened, this was like huge. This was so massive. I was so stoked. I couldn't just shut up about it with, in front of my friends. Uh, and then the dump happened. And then all my friends are just like, hey, how's it going, Diamond Hands? You going to go back to work now? <laughs> and I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, I, I never wanted to quit work or anything like that. It would be nice to retire with Bitcoin. Don't get me wrong on that. But I knew that another pump was coming. I was smart. I realized that this is a long-term game. This isn't just a get-rich-quick scheme overnight. This isn't just a put my money in the, in the computer and make it go burr in, in a week. It's nothing like that. This is a long-term game. And there's people that I know that have been in crypto much longer than me uh, since like 2013, 2010. Uh, and it's it's a beautiful thing to see like a lot of like the OG holders from back then. And, and like I know a couple of them and like these people are very knowledgeable and they, they know that <laughs> that this is just the start. They know that six figures for Bitcoin is very possible. It's going to hit 100K this year. Um of course, not financial advice. Obviously, it could also not hold. Uh, it could not hit that price. It really depends. Um, I think that right now it's going to hit a hundred k, and there's going to be other coins that are going to pump as well. Uh, Mega went from two zeros to three zeros to seven, so that's the first meme coin to hit one dollar. Uh, why I didn't invest much because uh, of because I don't like Trump and I miss it again. I could be a millionaire. I think Trump has a, a crypto actually, which is kind of funny. <coughs> I'm kind of like indifferent on, I'm indifferent in politicians because, well, I'm from Canada, so I don't, I don't know much about American politics. Um, I, I don't really trust politicians in general. I don't want to talk too much about politics on the channel. I kind of like, it's not really like super healthy. I, I just don't trust politicians that much. I don't trust them. Um, I think Trump has his own crypto, I think, or something like that. Um, yeah, it would be interesting to see that. Uh, 20, 2017, wait, you still hold Bitcoin since then? Oh, yeah, I do. I have been holding on to my Bitcoin. Um, I did a, like some like trading back and forth, but I, I started realizing, I think it was, yeah, it was around here when things were pumping in 2020. I started saying I'm not going to buy and sell anymore. I'm just going to buy and hold. I'm going to hold for a while. Uh, oh, you're in the U.S.? Oh, true. So we're neighbors, eh? Or I'm your Canadian neighbor. Um, <laughs> the the crazy thing about Bitcoin, though, is that like like I was saying earlier, like the price will go up and down, and 
people always came to me and would always rag on me after the price went down. They're like, oh, yeah, how's your how's your money now? How's your Internet money now? And I'd say, oh, it's fine. I, I still have the same amount of Bitcoin, but I, the value has gone down. That's totally fine. I understand this is a market. I understand that the price is going to fluctuate. People would always try to bring me down about it because they would see that they're into something that they, they don't understand. And people are usually hateful towards things they don't understand. This is just human nature. Um, when this pump happened, I laughed in their face and I said, yeah, look what happened now. But I don't want to be mean about it. I offered to get my friends into crypto and I offered to help them with their MetaMask and help them with a ledger. I told them never hold your crypto on an exchange. And I'm going to tell you guys that too. If you guys have money on a crypto exchange, get it out. Get a Trezor, get a ledger. If you guys purchase uh, a ledger, I have a, a referral link um, on my channel. You can buy a ledger and you, you and me will both get $10 because my YouTube channel is not monetized right now. I am not monetized and, uh, you know, it'd be nice to make a little bit of money here and there. I'm not going to, not going to lie about that. So if get yourself a hardware, uh, hardware wallet, uh, and, and store your crypto properly. But I helped a couple of friends with that. Um, got a couple of friends into cryptocurrency. Uh, they were curious about it. Uh, they were curious after they had talked shit to me about these little price fluctuations. And then they saw this big pump and they're like, I kind of want to get into crypto now. And I said, okay, I'll help you, man. I'm not going to hold it to you. I might make fun of you for how you were a bit of a bastard back then. But, you know, I'm, that's just like playful razin. I don't mean it like seriously. So I helped the homies get in um, into crypto and like buying their first, making their first purchase and, and buying all this stuff. Um, some of my friends purchased a little bit high um, when things were around like 45, uh, between 40 and 45, I think was when they purchased. So it was a little bit high. Um if you got into cryptocurrency this year, or last year or the year before, and you were buying at these prices even, this is still good. You're still going to make a 10x at least on on uh, on Bitcoin. You're still going to make a 10x. Uh, and not financial advice, obviously. But, oh, yes, I need a ledger. I got a link in my bio, man. All my videos, I have the, the ledger link. If you purchase a ledger with that link, I get a bit of a kickback. It helps support the channel. And you also get an extra $10 in Bitcoin as well. So... A little shameless promotion, but you know, I'm not monetized on this uh, on YouTube, so I got to make some money somehow. And you know what? When I maybe when I get monetized, I'll do something. Maybe I'll do a giveaway or something. Who knows? I'll I'll have to think about that. Um, oh, that's good. You helped your friends. Yeah, you gotta you gotta help your friends, man. You, you gotta help your friends. Look, I'm an only child, right? So I hold all of my friends really close to me. I wish I had a brother or sister or something like that. So, you know, because I don't have a brother or sister by blood, I hold my friends a lot closer than that. And I, I try to look after them as much as I can and help out where I can with stuff like this. Um, you know, like with crypto, it's it's a really intimidating world to get into when you know absolutely nothing about blockchain. I I can picture one of my friends like trying to like send money to like different like different networks without bridging it properly like that's why you know I, I don't want any of my friends to make rookie mistakes so I try to give them the most palatable explanation on how they can get into cryptocurrency properly without losing money you know without um without spending more money than you need to these sort of things um yeah, so I'll purchase it for me and you get $10. Yeah, that's yeah, that's huge, man. I really appreciate that. Again, like it, Ledger's a good wallet. I have a, I have both a Ledger and a Trezor. Both wallets are great. Um but I do have the referral link for the Ledger. Uh you know, it's totally up to you if you want to buy it. I'm I'm not going to pull your leg on it too much, but if you if you do buy it, then I do get a kickback and I really appreciate that support, man. It really helps even just the morale. Um there's going to be a point where the channel gets monetized. It's not monetized right now. I would love for it to be monetized. Um, if I'm starting to actually make good money on this channel, then I will be much more active on here. I'll be making videos daily. Uh, and, you know, it's going to be it's going to be crazy. Mirwise says, let's talk about Pepe. Oh, man. So Pepe is, yeah, we were talking about Pepe before. Pepe is really good, man. And you guys know, like, I'm a big fan of Pepe and the channel. Um, Pepe is here's the thing i get grilled sometimes do you say pepe or pepe i i've always said pepe but i know some people say pepe I, are we both right i think it's probably we're both right i guess but yeah i do say pepe quite often um so what do you want to talk about you want to talk about price predictions and stuff like that um 
we were talking earlier about um i say pipe <laughs> i think that um i think that pay bitcoin is gonna do some big things but i want to be so realistic about pay pay right now and, and like sort of get the um sort of catch the uh I'll be uploading this video as well on the channel later so you guys can like fill in on the conversation. We've been having a lot of great chats about cryptocurrency and where we think some prices are going to go and discovering some gems and stuff like that. Um, so, okay, so Pepe coin. I want to address something. There's some people on here that think that Pepe is going to reach one cent. There's some people that think Pepe is going to reach one dollar. I don't think that those prices are realistic. I am very bullish on Pepe, but I think we could probably delete up to two zeros. That's that's what I'm thinking about Pepe. I'm not going to sit here and try to overly pump my own bags by lying to you guys and saying that Pepe is going to hit one cent or one dollar. I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's going to do that. I'm just I'm going to be realistic. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to clickbait anything. It's not going to go to a dollar. I would love for it to. And we all would love for it to. If 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 Pepe hits one cent even. If Pepe hits one cent, I'm probably going to be a millionaire. If that happens, that would be absolutely insane if that happened. I just don't think it's realistically possible. Um, my realistic prediction for Pepe, like long, long term, um, we're going to obviously see some fluctuation in the price for the next while. There's going to be some people that made a lot of money around here. And you guys know I've been talking about Pepe on this channel for a while. I've been talking about Pepe when Pepe was around here. So I hope you guys are winning. I hope you guys are making some massive profits on this right now. You don't have to thank me for it. I'm just here to deliver the news and my opinion on this sort of stuff. I appreciate you guys all supporting the channel. And like, if you guys have wins and maybe you watched one of my videos and you purchased something, you bought some Pepe, then that's amazing. I'm glad. I'm glad if you did that. I'm glad if you did that right around here and, and you made some life-changing gains, hopefully. It would be absolutely massive. But I think we're going to see a little bit of a bleed out for a little bit. Um, looking at a seven-day average, we're not seeing too much upward price momentum at the moment. It looks like for the past day or so, things have just been sort of lightly bleeding out a little bit. I think it's going to bleed out a little bit more before it pumps again. Uh, and I think one of the catalysts for that being uh, for another pump to happen is this Bitcoin halving. That's that looks like it's going to be happening um, within roughly 51 days. Again, I already mentioned it before, but just a quick one off thing. I think that Bitcoin is going to start pumping even more when we hit the 30 day mark. Uh, I think that when the 30 day mark hits, people are going to realize that Bitcoin is not going to be pumping out the, the same amount of rewards that it used to. There's going to be more scarcity with Bitcoin. There's going to be less available for people to buy. And then people are also going to start realizing that there is a, a finite amount of Bitcoin. So what does this mean for Pepe? Well, I think that Pepe is going to pump with Bitcoin because it it just did. And it's going to do it again. It's going to keep doing it whenever whenever Bitcoin does it. It's not going to mimic every single buy and sell, obviously. It's going to trend along with it. I think that Pepe is going to catch along with that pump that is going to happen with the halving. And as well, there's so much money being flown into these ETFs right now, guys. It's just I'm bullish on crypto in general, but obviously some tokens more than others. Um, and yeah, Pepe is going to go to the moon again. I don't think we're at the moon right now. I think the moon is maybe a zero or two away. But my personal opinion on Pepe, it's not going to hit a cent. It's not going to hit 10 cents, not going to hit a dollar. If it does, I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. If it hits a 10 cents, I'll do giveaways and shit like that. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I just, I don't know if I see it. That's just, that's just what I think. Um, but yeah, uh, Pepe hitting that and you'll be 60 years old. I will be 60 years old. I'm already halfway there. <laughs> um, I hope it does though. I'll be blown away if it hits... So I said it'll delete two zeros. I'll be blown away if it delo uh, deletes three zeros. I'll be blown away if that happens. We'll we'll talk about that when we get there. And hopefully you guys are making some, some good profits. Hopefully you guys are taking some healthy profits. Don't just hold on to these tokens forever. Not financial advice. I, I never give financial, uh, financial advice. But make sure you take some healthy profits along the way. That's all I got to say. Uh, so what do you think about Mina? Let's check out Mina really quick. Thanks for tuning into the channel, by the way. Really appreciate it. Number 64. I don't know a whole lot about Mina. I've never even... I've lightly heard about Mina. Uh, which chain are we on? Which chain are we on right now? It doesn't say... Am I stupid? I might be stupid right now. 
Which chain is is this on Solana? Oh, this is Mina Protocol. Oh, is this like a set? This is a, a whole ass new ass protocol sort of thing. This time not okay. So Mina here. I don't know much about Mina, so I can't give. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't. I don't know much about Mina, but oh yeah, I don't know. Mina came out a few years ago. Looks like in the summer of twenty. 21 it looks like oh, I don't know I don't I'm not liking this I'm not saying stay away from it or anything I, I don't know a whole lot about this but I'm not too bullish on how this looks it's possible that we so okay so there's a pump that happened here shortly after yeah this token didn't have any sort of initial pump it just dipped it's possible that we could be mimicking something like this right now it looks like there's some actual positive price action that I, I don't know though I, I don't know a whole lot about Mina I'm not really too crazy on how this looks I'll need to take a better look though obviously I'm just sort of lightly skimming over projects and stuff like that but um yeah just looking at this I'm not too I'm not too crazy about it I'll get back to you guys so maybe I'll do a review on this maybe I'll kind of like do like a mini deep dive see like what the token's all about and all that stuff uh, wait, question. So I lost my key phrase in my phone. Wait a second. Why is your key phrase in your phone? I don't know, but it's Wall Street memes in that wallet on MetaMask. So I made a new MetaMask and that's why I get the ledger for sure. Why, why is your seed phrase on your phone? I, I, if um, This is not insulting to you at all, but that, that seed phrase should be written on a piece of paper and stored away very safely. Um, having something like that on your phone, you're, you could be liable for having your your information stolen if you if your phone gets hacked for any reason or if that to or if that seed phrase gets leaked um your funds will not be safe i would most definitely suggest that you never ever digitally store your seed phrase anywhere write that on a piece of paper hackers cannot hack your paper i've got a notebook here with all of my seed phrases oh because nobody would be on my phone doesn't matter man somebody could hack your phone somebody could hack your phone if you lose your phone somewhere in public and i'm just looking out for you man because you support the channel and that's just my honest to god take you got to keep your seed phrase on a piece of paper somewhere far away from anything like that uh, I, I worry for your money my guy do that for me uh that is that is my if i could give any financial advice officially this is financial advice store your seed phrase on a piece of paper or some sort of of physical content of some sort. Get a notebook. Go to like a dollar store and grab yourself a notebook and write all of your passwords down in this notebook. Do not store anything like that digitally. Um, you'll be your money will be much safer that way because I don't want anything to happen to my viewers. I don't want you guys to lose out on your money everybody's putting their money into this market they want to make some gains i want all of you guys to make some gains and i want you guys to be safe too i want all you guys to be safe with your stuff because this is a cutthroat world um crypto is a wild west right now it is unregulated well it's sort of regulated but it's a wild west people lose money in this in this area daily i've i don't want to talk too much about it but like i've seen people in like various telegrams and discords that have lost six figures worth of money and heard some people say that they're going to unalive themselves. They've like pumped in like their, ugh, it's sad stuff, man. But people would say that they're putting their kids college fund into it because they want it to triple, you know, their, their money and stuff like that. And then they lose it all. And it's sad to see that shit. So be safe with your money guys. Always, please. Um, I cannot stress that enough. I'll never judge you. I'm not going to ever make fun of people for doing that because we're all learning about this stuff, right? Um, always be safe with your crypto. Be super safe with it. Have a plan B, have a plan C. Um, that That's sort of like my advice. But yeah, if I could give you any sort of advice, my guy, and anyone else who's watching that might have their seed phrase stored on a notepad file in their computer or in an email or anything like that, get it off there. Get a new seed phrase if you can. Move your money to another wallet with a seed phrase that is only written down on a piece of paper. Because uh, bad things bad things can unfortunately happen. And that's just the... Yeah, that's just the name of the game, unfortunately. Um, I'm not here to screw anyone over, obviously. I'm not selling anything right now. Um, I'm, a I'm, I'm not monetized on YouTube yet. Um, I hope 
I, I hope I can be. Um, all you guys need to do to help me with that monetization is watch some of my videos, uh, like it, leave comments on it. The algorithm loves this sort of stuff. You guys can go and check out my channel. I've got deep dives on the channel as well. I don't just, just do daily news. I do all sorts of content as well. Um, you like watching documentary like crime? Oh yeah, I love, I love that stuff. So I, um, so Highness, I got a, I have a documentary, like a small documentary that I made on um, the Ronin hack that happened with Sky Mavis, how they lost over half a million or half a billion dollars it was. Um, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, I got that video on my channel. Check it out. Tell, let me know what you think about it. Um, check out Sheeb coin. Yeah, we were looking at Sheeb earlier. We were looking at Sheeb because Sheeb has, um, it's moving again. It's been sideways for a very long time, and it's moving. Oh, we're going down, though? What's going on, Shibi? Let's see here. So for the past year, we were looking at Shibi. It wasn't doing a whole lot. There was just, like, some small waves that were happening. Um, if we scroll back out, yeah, we, were, we weren't doing too, too good. But it looks like we might be recovering. I think a lot of stuff is going to be... <coughs> sorry. I think a lot of stuff is going to be recovering. With this bull run, I think that Shiba Inu is probably going to hop on that. Um, I was really excited about Shiba Inu until the Shibarium thing happened. Um, if you guys don't know too much about the Shibarium, um, basically it was one of the most like hyped projects in cryptocurrency. It was going to be massive. Um, the Shibarium was going to offer so much for people. But when the network was released, um, the there was a lot of delays and, and transfers. The, the network was super, super slow. A lot of stuff didn't go through. Uh, a lot of people felt that the launch was underwhelming. And as a result of that, Pepe, or sorry, not Pepe, <laughs> just because I'm looking at <laughs> this right now, um, Sheeb ended up actually declining in price because of that. And it was kind of sad to see, you know, the whole community. And I, I got to say, like, Sheeb, the Shiba Inu community is probably one of the, the best, like, the most positive and like brightest uh, crypto communities out there. I got to say that because I got to follow all these different communities and see about news and stuff and see what I could talk about with my channel. I, the Shiba Inu community is one of like the most like happy, positive type communities that I've seen on here. Obviously nothing is perfect, uh, but I love the community personally. Um, I was so bummed for when the Shibarium kind of had a bunk launch. I was really, I was disappointed about that. Um, Shaitoshi Kusama, uh, you know, would always release these really cryptic updates. And Shaitoshi Kusama is the developer, uh, or at least the head person of Shiba Inu, for those who don't know. Uh, and Shaitoshi would always leave these really cryptic sort of uh, messages in his tweets and stuff. And he was always getting people really excited for like what's going to happen with the Shibarium. And it was hyped so, so much. And just seeing that launch was so underwhelming. Really sad to see that. But you, you know what, man? That's, that's crypto. That's crypto, baby. That shit can happen. Um, <laughs> do you guys remember, uh, speaking of Sheeb, um, okay, so we'll talk about Dogecoin really quick. Uh, Dogecoin was obviously like the pumps that we saw with Dogecoin were unreal. They were unreal when this happened. And I remember when, I think it was Elon Musk said something about Dogecoin. And he was going to be featured on, I think it was SNL. I, I, it might be another, or Mad TV, one of those two. Uh, and people were buying a lot of Dogecoin because they were wanting him to say or talk about Dogecoin on this show. And if, if he talked about Dogecoin on the show, then that means millions of people are going to see this and then they're going to buy into it, right? But it happened and then the price went right down after. Uh, and that was crazy when that happened. And that was just like classic buy the rumor, sell the news sort of thing. We were all thinking, yeah, Dogecoin's going to pump huge. Elon Musk is going to just say Dogecoin. And like, that's the crazy stuff about like memes and stuff like that. And like I've been saying with all of these meme coins, they don't need to rely on much. I mean, Elon Musk, he literally just, he would tweet a picture of a dog and people would start buying Dogecoin. Like the price would go up like 50% a day. And it's like, how do you have so much power that you're able to just like literally like Thanos, snap your fingers and then things just happen at unbelievably fast rates. And that's what happened with Dogecoin. He he had so much power over it. It's almost like he was like a like a poly, but like a different, maybe better version of poly, uh, but for Dogecoin. Um, absolutely insane. 
I think Dogecoin's going to go maybe hit some all time highs again. Maybe it's possible. You know, Dogecoin hit a dollar. <sighs> let's let's hope. I have some Dogecoin, so maybe maybe it'll happen. Well, I need another safe moon because they got to five billion market cap, and that was insane, eh? Um, which was fraud. But let me get my bag and bounce. The devs are going to be the only ones getting in trouble. I, I do not have safe moon. I do not have any safe moon, my friend. I wish that I did. I heard some people made some some money on it though. Um, but yeah, I don't know too too much about safe moon. Um, yeah, absolutely crazy crazy stuff though. Um, guys, by the way, I'm on Twitter uh, or X. Sorry, um, I have 112 followers. I appreciate all 112 of y'all. Uh, but I'm still looking to grow this. I'm still a very small YouTuber in the grand scheme of things. Hopefully you guys are bullish on me. Hopefully you guys will ape in and follow me. I would really, really appreciate that. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel already. Um, any purchases with a ledger that are on my link that are on my videos, uh, you'll get $10 worth of Bitcoin and I will get $10 worth of Bitcoin. So it supports the channel. Anyone who's purchasing that, uh, I think Highness said earlier he was going to grab one. I really appreciate that, man. These little things really help the channel grow. It helps me with the momentum and I'm really hoping hoping that I could be like a bigger YouTuber and, and have more content out for you guys. Um, but with that being said, I really appreciate all you guys' views, uh, all the all the chatter we've had today. I feel like I've made some friends today. I really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out. Uh, I've actually got to go back to work uh, and do my... Uh, <laughs> I, I work from home and I, I, do, uh, I, I do stuff at home, a lot of video work and I need to get some video work done. But I'm gonna be uploading this video on the channel very soon, so you guys can check it out again if you're just catching in like now or a little bit later. Again, really appreciate everyone hitting that subscribe button and the likes and all that stuff. Appreciate all the chatter. I'm gonna be doing this live a few times a week, so tune in next week. Uh, maybe on a Monday or Tuesday. I'll let you guys know. Uh, I'll keep you guys in the loop on uh, on Twitter, uh, aka X. So go ahead and hit me up with the follow there. And again, guys, appreciate you all so, so much. So I hope you guys are making some profits. I hope you guys are making some massive gains with this recent bull market. And just to end things off, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. We are not at the moon yet. We are not even close. We're in the ice age right now. Just wait till things really start to kick up. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you all hanging out. Again, thank you so much. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. All the support, I really appreciate it. All right, guys, this is MemeCoinMax here signing off, watching those charts so you don't have to.